adding complex numbers. Let's say we have a complex number a equals to 3 plus i and another one b equals to negative 2 plus 5i. So now let's add these two numbers to get another complex number. Let's say c. c equals to a plus b. a equals to 3 plus i and b equals to negative 2 plus 5i. In order to add these two numbers what we do is add their real parts and then we add the imaginary parts. So we get from 3 plus negative 2 we get 1 and from i plus 5i we get 6i. So 3 plus i plus negative 2 plus 5i equals to 1 plus 6i. We can also visualize this on the complex plane where we have on the vertical axis the imaginary part of a complex number and on the horizontal axis the real part of a complex number. So we had the complex number a which was 3 plus i. We can visualize a as a vector on the complex plane on our argon diagram. We can see a as a vector here from here to here. You see that the real part of a was 3 and its imaginary part was 1. Also we had the complex number b which we can represent here as this vector in blue. Um, we had negative 2 plus 5i so that's why the vector looked like this. So we add these two vectors to get a new vector. We can shift b in order for its tails to get over here and then we can start a vector from here to here and that vector is going to be the result of the addition um, that we had a plus b that is vector c. Um, when we shifted the, the vector b you see it goes 2 to the left and then 5 up. So this new vector in blue also 2 to the left and then 5 up. When we start a new vector from here to here this vector is the result of the addition we had from a and b. a plus b equals c. You see that the, the head of vector c is over here 1 and 6 1 plus 6 i so 3 plus i plus negative 2 plus 5 i equals to 1 plus 6 i so we can add complex numbers as we add vectors and that is a very important idea that we can use to solve many problems with complex numbers.